Here's a dealio with Amazon Prime. So, uh, Amazon Prime, the, the date has not actually been announced just yet. But based on what happened last year and the year before, they usually have it the second week in July. So that's probably going to be like the 15th is what I am placing my money on. 15th of July for Amazon Prime Day. And also Prime Day uh, last year was 36 hours long. The year before it was 24 hours long. So I kind of think as well that Prime Day may actually be Prime Days and may go for two days this year too. I don't know that for sure, but based on what's happening, that would make a lot of sense. 24 hours, 36 hours last year, this year 48 hours, that would make sense. So 15th of July, 48 hours is my prediction. You heard it here first. And a couple of things about that that are very, very important. It's going to be everywhere. So it'll be uh, here in Australia, also in the USA, UK, all the different markets will have a Prime Day and there will be a shitload of money to be made on those Prime Days. I always have very, very big increases in sales uh, on Prime Day. So how do you get ready for that? So here's a few things to consider. You want to make sure that you get your products into Amazon FBA. I'm going to say no later than the end of June. You want to have them in and checked in to FBA by no later than the end of June. So the end of this month, uh, I would think would be a very, very good cutoff period for us because every man and his dog, which is always happens, every man and his dog will try and get their shit into Amazon. Also, every man and his dog will be ordering extra stuff from their suppliers. So you should factor that in as well. Certainly something to consider out. And the other thing that I think is really important with regards to inventory is to make sure that you don't have uh, any slow moving inventory in there. So try and get that out if at all you can or clear it out or liquidate it if you can. And also make sure that you've got enough stock in FBA to cope with the increase in sales volume. And what is the increase? Typically, I do between, it depends on the product, of course, but it's anywhere between four and 10 times my normal daily sales I do. So if I'm selling, for instance, 100 units a day uh, in a category, in a product category, then I'll do between 400 and 1,000 units in the prime sale to give you a kind of idea of the increase and also what it means for your stock levels too. So how do you take advantage of Prime Day? Well, what Amazon wants you to do, of course, is pay for a lightning deal to be included in the Prime Day promotions, all right? But I've got to tell you, every man and his dog will do that. And uh, I think there's better ways of marketing your business on prime days than through that. I think you'd be much better off doing prime sales via Facebook or Google, something like that. I think that's the better way of doing it. So um, the lightning deals, I believe, get lost because there's so many people doing it now. And so I don't get that they are particularly great. Plus, of course, they cost you money. And it's expensive now to set up a lightning deal, depending on the category, depending on the country can be up to 500 bucks to do a lightning deal. So, you know, screw that. I think personally, you're better off spending that money on Facebook marketing than you are giving it to Amazon. But you should definitely discount because if you discount and you're ranking anyway, that's good for you. That's good for you. So offsite is better than onsite for Prime in terms of maximizing your ad spend. I think it's a better way to do it. And by sending off-site traffic, of course, you'll also get the added bonus of increasing your search engine optimization rankings, which is good anyway. So you'll get the kind of uplift that you would normally get with a lightning deal. So smiles all around. So that's what I would be doing to maximize my prime day. That's the sort of thing. As far as discounts, how much discount should you do? I think that anything less than 20% will go unnoticed. 
I think that would be the minimum Prime Day discount would be 20%. And clearly, the more you discount, the better. However, there is a point of diminishing returns and the diminishing returns is really you get to a point where you're not making any money by making any sales. And so you want to uh, clearly you've got to work out your numbers beforehand so you don't find yourself in that situation where it's actually costing you to make sales because you've discounted so much. So but I think 20% would be your minimum. Yeah, I think 20% would be your minimum for that. So that's what I would do for that. Uh, Maria says, anything different you do with your Facebook and Google Ads for Prime? Uh, yes, there is. I. The only real difference is, so the targeting stays the same. Targeting is always the same. But the advert that I use, I'm, I'm talking about Prime throughout the whole advert. In the ad copy, it's all Prime, 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 Prime. So, but as far as the targeting goes, that's consistent. But the ads reference, of course, the fact that it's prime. Outside of that, it's it's basically the same. It's basically the same as far as that. Uh, Amazon.com or Amazon.com at you. It's on both. So you're all good. Hope that helps. All right. So that's a little bit on Prime Day. If you are selling on Amazon, you should take advantage of Prime. There is, I think, a very, very good argument to be made. Uh, about Prime Day sales having little impact on the overall ranking of your product through the long term, meaning the bump in sales that you will get, everybody else will also be getting that same bump in sales. So the playing field stays constant, if that makes sense, uh, versus doing a promotion outside of a prime day when you're the only person promoting. Therefore, you do get a bump in your uh, search results. But the number of customers that you'll create, the branding you can do, particularly if you're doing things on Facebook, that's all gold, I think. So definitely worth doing. And uh, you'll you'll get a real kick out of seeing your sales spike as well. And that is not to be underestimated. The psychological influence of making a lot of sales in one day is not to be underestimated at all, particularly when you're first getting started. And you need, in a way, you need the validation around Amazon. This is a great way of getting that. So not to be underestimated. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and um, post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.